welcome back to my channel everyone and welcome to another video now today based on what you have seen in the intro i'll be reviewing lady shelly or the lady shelly line and that's by shelly and fraser price and i am proud to be doing this today because she is a fellow jamaican so anyone here from jamaica who wants to support her go and check out the link below for the products so starting right here i'm just detangling my hair and getting it ready to be styled So first, I'm taking the hydrating mist and using it. I'm spraying it in my hands because it's easier to manage when you do, th do it that way. Now, I've spoken about this product already, but you just don't know how much I love this. I use this every time I wash my hair and I'm running out. I use this every single time. I always use it to moisturize my hair. And it's best when you use it, when you're having braids it keeps the braids moisturized so next i'm using the leave-in conditioner from that same line it was moisturizing that was my first time trying it it was moisturizing it reminded me of the hair mist but just a thicker version to it so if you by chance try the hair mist and you don't love the consistency you want a thicker product you could just you do the leave-in conditioner Soon you'll see me use the other product that I have in my hand. But that's what I'm using for now. And those are the two things that I use to moisturize my hair. While in this protective style that I'm doing right now. So right here I'm just parting it the way I want it. How I want the braids to go. And then I'm going to put some edge control around the perimeter of the braid. Or off the section where I want the braid to go and then I'm gonna feed in the braids if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do feeding braids I'll be happy to do so or you can just go <laughs> on YouTube right where you are now and just search for feeding braids there are tons and tons and tons of videos on that but if you want an in-depth tut tutorial from me just let me know
fun fact this braid took approximately six minutes to do although it looks far less than that that's because the clip is sped up but it was approximately six minutes that i took to do it and i think i braid fairly quick so if you know you do braids slower than me it's gonna take some time so right here i just loosely twist the ends because i was really tired my hands were tired and i was exhausted and then i put some more of the braid in here around it and then i use those twists to wrap around it so my twist or bun at the top looks more fuller i don't think i can do a voiceover without a dog barking <laughs> So now I'm using the Supreme Root Radiance and putting it on my roots, especially the twists in the back since they are older. And if you have itchy scalp, you can use this because it helps to soothe your scalp. And it also has a cooling sensation, so it feels really good on your scalp. And although you see some residue there, as soon as I rub it out, it will be gone, it will dissolve. So you don't have to worry about any residue or any buildup on your braids. But you'll see that soon when I do take these braids down. now i'm completely finished and if you don't think i love how these braids turned out just wait you'll see <laughs> so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to share it with your friends and tag shelly and <laughs>